on guys, it's Wispin here and I'm back with another video and today I am here on the Poke Central server for episode 14 of this series. So since the last episode I've actually made a few changes to the shop, we can go ahead and take a look real quick. Um, we still have the Evolution Stone shopkeeper, I'm not sure if he was here last time, but you can actually sell um, all of these different stones for I think 100 bucks each, maybe 300 bucks each? I can't actually remember what I set the price to, but either way you can sell Evolution Stones as well as Pokeballs now. So there's a couple more ways to make money. Now if we actually head upstairs here, I'm planning on putting in some more Pixelmon items on this top floor. Originally I was going to do vanilla items up here, but I figured we need some more space for Pixelmon items. And uh, I, I don't know if they'd all fit up there, vanilla items. So what I'm going to do instead is actually right here there is an elevator that will take you down to this room. Right now it's just an empty room. It's actually really small. I'm going to expand it and probably put... Uh, the vanilla shop items down there, so that'll be pretty cool once it's actually done I feel like the layout of the shop actually worked out really nice It wasn't originally like this if you've been on the server for a while I did change it up quite a bit, but heading back on this way I've added two out of I think 18 of the NPCs so far So we have a ways to go, but at least we're making a little bit of progress the bug NPC keeper is here all of the different TMs are Different prices depending on how valuable I think they were. I don't know exactly like, if I got my prices good, I just figured U-Turn is a pretty effective move, X-Scissors a little bit better, Silverwind and Infestation can be useful in certain situations, so they both got decently high prices, then Fury Cutter is 8,000, then Struggle Bug the lowest at 6,000, and I think I'm going to do that with all of the different NPCs. Now, I'm not actually going to buy one of these just because uh, they're really expensive, and I don't really just want to wait. I, I don't really just want to waste any money on them. However, if you go ahead and actually... Uh, find one of these out in the wild from a boss or a pokey loot or something like that You can sell it for 10% of the price So for example, if you do find an X scissor TM, you don't need an X scissor TM You can actually sell it for 2400 and normally I think TMs used to sell for either 300 or 500 each So a lot of the TMs that are more valuable are actually gonna be worth a lot more in terms of selling now Which should be pretty helpful the, the fairy shop keeper, keeper is here as well, but only has one TM, unfortunately. Hopefully they add more fairy TMs in the future. I think Gen 7 probably added some. They're just not in Pixelmon quite yet. Now, let's go ahead and head back upstairs and head out into the world. Now, I added youngster NPCs, and I think they spawn in Plains Biome, maybe Taiga Biomes, Extreme Hills. I, I don't know the exact biomes, but I know they spawn somewhere so we're gonna try to find one they give between i think 160 and actually there's one right over here 160 and 320 dollars and they're between level 8 and 16 so the higher the level basically the more money it gives it's the way it works is there's a base a base price which is 20 dollars and you multiply that price times the average level of the nbc's pokemon uh but for each nbc the base price changes so it's kind of complicated but basically youngsters give you a few hundred bucks so let's go ahead and try to defeat him. Now, I think we'll be best off with just using Dragon Rage, just because they're pretty low levels, and I don't think any of them will have over 40 HP. Now, they have 3 to 6 Pokemon, so they never have just like 1 or 2 Pokemon. I kind of feel like when you get into battle with an NPC and it only has one Pokemon, it defeats the entire purpose of the NPC. Might as well just be a wild Pokemon. So what I'm going to do as I implement more NPCs, I'm going to make sure all of them have probably at least 3 Pokemon. 3 to 6 will probably be the uh, usual number but there we go we can see we actually got did we get money from that i'm not actually sure i might have skipped over that although i didn't check my balance before <laughs> okay well let's see we'll, we'll test it out we'll try to find another npc a youngster and we'll see if we actually got money from that or not now i do recommend getting an amulet coin that basically doubles all of your money you can also use a luck incense but i think amulet coin is a little bit easier to obtain so, yeah, that doubles all the money you get from NPCs, which is pretty helpful. I think what I'm actually going to do, there's this move called, I, th I think it's a move, called Happy Hour. And it's event an event-only move, meaning that you can't really get it anyways unless uh, I add a specific NPC that teaches that move, uh, Move Tutor. So what I think I might actually end up doing is putting out a Happy Hour NPC Move Tutor every once in a while and just leaving it there for like a day or something. The only problem is I, I feel like a lot of people could just get like 50 Pokemon, teach them all the move, and then go ahead and do it that way, which would mean everybody would get like 50 Pokemon with Happy Hour. So the only way I can really see going around that is maybe making it cost something really expensive to get it, or to go ahead and make it cost an item that you guys can't obtain, like a badge, and then make it so 
you exchange that badge for the move so I can restrict it basically to one one happy hour Pokemon per person per event. I think something like that could be pretty cool and it would help out a lot for the people that are joining for the events and all that different stuff. We might as well fight this Bell Sprout, I guess. Stone Edge should one shot it. Just getting into battle here. And I think that'll be pretty cool. So let me know what you think of that. If I should add an NPC with uh, happy hour and what I should do it for. I feel like maybe a summer event. I know the first day of summer is June 21st, 26th, 21st, some, something like that. I actually have no idea. It's some, some, some date in June. And I think we're hopefully going to have a summer event. And honestly, if we can have a summer event, it could last all summer. I mean, three months, that would be pretty cool for an event. As long as we made it big enough to where you guys have stuff to do all summer long. And I think I want to try to do something like that. It might be kind of hard. I should probably start planning it out now, about a month in advance, just so we have a lot of time to work with it. But we'll see how it goes. Now, in the, I think, two episodes, last episode, two episodes ago, I actually caught myself a Venipede, and I never took the time to go ahead and check him out. I completely forgot that I even caught him. But let's take a look and see. He is Jolly Nature, which is good. And if we go ahead and take a look at his IVs, IV6, he has terrible IVs. So not going to use this guy. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the trash can. However, I do really want a Venipede for my team. I think Scolipede is an awesome Pokemon. If you guys haven't really used him before, I definitely recommend checking him out. Now, let's go home. And we'll head on over to the jungle. It is nighttime, and I'm not sure if he spawns at day or night. So we're definitely going to have to probably wait on him. Although, Natus could spawn right now, so that could always be useful to catch a few more of those. But let's head on over here into the jungle. Now, this town is kind of chaotic. There are a lot of people that have moved in in the last few days. Like, probably a few hundred people. Okay, I might be exaggerating it just a little bit, but there's probably 50, 60, 70 people at least. There are tons of houses all over the place, so we're going to have to go ahead and check all of these out. What is this? Oh, it's just some random berry. Okay, I don't need that. We're going to have to go ahead and check out all of the, the houses at some point, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing this just because there are a lot of houses for one, and two, a lot of them aren't really complete, and three, a lot of them it seems like people didn't really put much time into. But uh, some of them are actually pretty cool, so I guess we can just run around here. I kind of want to stay near the jungle, though, just so Pokemon spawn. I do want to try to get those Venipedes. Once this morning, I'm pretty sure they only spawn during the day. Not not 100%, but pretty sure. But I don't, I don't actually see any Pokemon around here, which is kind of strange. Just a lot of items dropped on the ground. Now, I know a lot of you guys keep spamming me. Add a clear lag plugin. Add a clear lag plugin. They're, the, the items on the ground are not really causing any lag. Uh, just based off of all the information that I have. So it's not really a necessity. I know it could be kind of useful just because there are so many drops and things just scattered all over the world that it kind of gets annoying to pick them up all the time. But all I can recommend is just maybe making a trash can at your house, either a cactus or a bucket of lava that you can drop your drops into instead of throwing them on the ground. Things like that would really help out. And I do clear items off the ground every once in a while just randomly with a manual command. We might add a clear lag at some point in the future, but it's not really something that we're focused on. Now... This is a Venomoth, level 31. Let's let's try it out. I, d I don't know if we can... Eh, we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll probably one-shot it. <laughs> yeah, okay. We actually one-shot it. I was kind of concerned about the level at the start there, but I don't even know why. That was easy. Now, okay. I'm, I'm really tempted to drop things on the ground, but I'm trying to be a better person, okay, guys? <laughs> I'm going to stop dropping them on the ground. We got to get ourselves one of these not or these Zatus. It has been a journey, I think since about the probably second or third episode was when we started trying to get one, and we still have not managed to catch ourselves one of these guys, so let's, I don't know how we're going to do this. This is, this is going to be tricky. Let's pull out our Altaria real quick and fly on up there and see if maybe we can get into battle with it. I do have some Dusk Balls, maybe those could help, I don't know. Where did it go? Okay, it's, it's really getting away from us here. Come back, or we'll land right here on this tree. Come here and Scyther, go. Okay, we got into battle with it. I'm just going to go for the Dusk Ball. I think it's a times four catch rate. Maybe times three. Times four, times three. Not not entirely sure, but either way, please let me catch this. <laughs> no. And it used Peck. Please don't teleport away from me. I will probably cry a little bit. Oh, we died. Okay, well, we'll send out Altaria for now. Does Altaria have any moves that can put him to sleep? No. Okay. All right, let's try another Dusk Ball. I don't know what we're going to do here. We might not be able to catch one still. I think we're going to need to get a Parasect so that we can have Spore and False Swipe on one Pokemon. That would be pretty cool. 
but I, I don't know what to do here. I guess you can pack. It looks like maybe it doesn't have teleport, which is really, really helpful. Dragon Pulse. Please don't do too much. No, that was pretty good. Try another Dragon Pulse. Get it down a little bit lower with one more Dragon Pulse. Hopefully we don't get fainted. We don't really have any other high enough level Pokemon to really compete here. So we're just going to have to go for another Dusk Ball now that it's into the yellow. Can we catch our first Zatu? This is such a hard challenge to actually catch these guys. Every other one has actually just teleported away, but it looks like we finally got one. Yes, that is awesome. All right, we might as well replace Splash. I don't really need Twister, but might as well. And let's use a Pokey Kibble. And we actually got... Oh. Oh, geez. You can't use Pokey Kibble in other people's claims, apparently. I'm not sure why that is. That's, that's really weird. I need to look into that. But are we out of claims yet? Nope. Vernon's claim. Oh, no, guys. We can't heal our Pokemon. I definitely need to sort that out because that's weird. You should be able to use... I guess maybe it's because it thinks you're trying to plant like like that see when i right click there i know i'm wasting kibble but it, it thinks i'm trying to plant it on the side of the tree or something i i don't know that's weird but we should try to fix that if we can what is this chest here for don't place random chests there's no need we have chests over here of course they're all cleared out there used to be like eight stacks of logs in here but you guys are little thieves you're taking all my wood I don't know what's going on with that, but you, you're taking all my wood, so thank you. I appreciate that. I guess we might as well just give up on trying to keep these chests. These chests were so organized, and I, I asked you guys so nicely. I was like, hey, guys, do you think maybe we could keep these chests organized, fill them up with some wood? Maybe if you ever need a couple logs or something for a crafting table, you can just come grab a log or two. And I'm pretty sure the first day that I kind of showed the cords, someone came over and took, like, 12 stacks of logs. So, you know, whatever. Um, but okay, so we got ourselves that Zatu. Let's go ahead and take a look at its ability. Synchronize Impish. What is this one? Synchronize Gentle. Okay. So we'll go ahead and stats rename Sync Gentle. And then we'll go over to the Zatu and Sync Impish. And there we go. Okay, we're, we're making our way up in the world. We got so many of these. Oops, I did that wrong. Okay, there we go. I got so many of these synchronized Pokemon. We have actually Luxio. Why? What are you doing in here? Get out of there! You're not allowed. You're not allowed back there. All right, there we go. I think that's sorted out. So we have Jolly, Brave, Quirky, Adamant, Quiet, Impish, Calm, Docile, Hasty, Gentle, and Lax. Do we have two Gentles? No. Okay, we have one Gentle. I don't know why I thought I saw two Gentles, but looks like we have about. I think that was ten. Ten so far, right? Hush PC uh five eleven okay we have eleven we have eleven different synchronized pokemon eleven out of twenty five total natures making some progress there still have a ways to go but at least we're getting quite a few i'm still keeping an eye out for that modest one or that timid one because there are just a ton of modest and timid pokemon out there and by by modest and timid pokemon i mean pokemon that uh do best with those natures so let's go ahead and gather up all these apricorns. Like, I would really like a Lapras. That could be pretty cool. Or maybe even like an Umbreon. But in order to get any of those Pokemon, I really want to make sure that I get the correct synchronized first. Just so that I have a higher chance of getting the right nature first try. Because I know they're pretty rare Pokemon. Now, ooh, there's a Sceptile here. That's actually pretty cool. I think instead of actually... Instead of trying to catch this guy, we're just going to take him out. I... I, I would try to catch him, but I kind of want the experience, so let's go with a Stone Edge and see how this goes. That really did nothing. Does Dragon Rage do more or less? Yeah, I think it did a little bit more, but I'm not too sure. I think either way, it's going to take four hits to take him out, and he did a lot of damage there to us, so this is going to be a close one. Actually, I think he keeps using Leer, so we're good to go. Awesome. Thank you for just spamming Leer. That's great. Okay. So, are there any more Venipedes spawned in here? I, I don't see any anymore. I don't know why spawn rates are, are low right now. I guess maybe there's just a lot of Pokemon spawned around a lot of other people. I'm not entirely sure what the cause is. But I guess I'm just going to keep running around until I can try to find myself a Venipede or something similar. Like a Scolipede or Evolutions or whatnot. Whatever it is, I'll try to find something and I will come back to you guys once I have. Alright guys, so I'm not really seeing any Venipedes around here, which is kind of unfortunate. There are a few Weaving Bells, a few Mankeys, but no Venip- Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they only spawn at night. 
let's let's get into battle with this level 23 weeping belt maybe we can get up to level 30 on our gyarados that would be pretty cool should be able to one shot it and grab ourselves the experience and there we go okay level 30 all right that that's cool at least we got something out of waiting here for a little while i, I still i really want that venipede and I kind of feel like half of the problem is still that there's too many leaves here. I don't necessarily want to cut down the entire jungle, but at the same time, if there's so many leaves, you just can't see the Pokemon, and it's such a pain. Ooh, a Tropius. Do you guys see that Tropius flying back here? That's pretty cool. Let's let's get into battle with him. Only level 21, not really worth even killing, so here, I'll, I'll do one, one Stone Edge if we... Okay, we one-shot him. I was going to say, if we didn't one-shot him, I'd go ahead and catch him. Uh, we get two apples and two... Charty berries, okay. That's useless, but I'll take them, I guess. Now, still no venipedes, which is unfortunate, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, actually, experience. You you are experience right here. This this gold duck here. Of 34. That's actually pretty perfect, as long as he doesn't like one shot me or something. Now looks like we're good. Now unfortunately our moves aren't doing too much damage to him, but we still should be able to take him out. And once we go ahead and do this, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick out the winner for the Ace Rank giveaway. Now, I know I only put it up yesterday, and I probably should wait for some more entries, but I figure I do a, a giveaway every episode anyway, so there's no point in really waiting. There probably have been more entries in that one than there have been in most of my giveaways in the past that have been running for just one day. So, yeah, if you missed yesterday's video, it basically was just a video covering the new Pokemon that are coming to Pixelmon, including Darkrai and... Uh, Heatran and Crelesia, Crestlia, however you say it, whatever it is, and yeah, and then a bunch of others, so if you guys do want to check that out, make sure you go ahead and check out yesterday's video. The day before that, I did a video talking about NPCs and why they're not on the server currently, so make sure you go check that out as well if you're interested in why quests have kind of disappeared, and that's pretty much it in terms of just <laughs> advertising for my own videos. But let's go ahead and use Stone Edge again. I, I feel like I'm using the wrong move here. I probably should be using Dragon Rage. And we definitely need to get some new moves on this Gyarados here. Not the best in the world. Now, we keep getting these Dark Prismarine blocks. Kind of pointless. I, I don't I don't know about these whole new Pixelmon. I might go ahead and look into the Pixelmon drop config file and change these things up. Because I feel like a lot of the drops just end up getting wasted. Like, thrown on the ground. Like... Who needs one Dark Prismarine? If you really need Dark Prismarine, you're going to go find yourself a Sea Temple. You're not going to go out and battle Psyducks all day for one block for each battle. It's kind of silly. So I didn't actually make the drops, but I'm probably going to have to change them up. I like the berries, even though most berries do go to waste as well. It's kind of cool. It's like the only way to get Pixelmon items. But just like seeds, really? Do we do we need seeds? Is there not enough? If there's is, is there not enough grass in the world to get enough seeds? Do we really need just regular old seeds i don't know it's it's weird but i guess we'll see if i actually even get around to changing them up now let's get into battle with this weeping bell and then take one last look around to see if maybe we can find ourselves a wow we're paralyzed oh no okay we still we still took them out uh take all i guess now is there any venipedes around here is that what i'm looking for venipedes right <laughs> i kind of forget what i was actually searching for uh yeah i don't i don't think we're gonna be able to find one today for some reason unfortunately they don't seem to be spawning in i guess maybe they're pretty rare and i just got lucky with my last one i don't know i feel like i've seen a few but not right now so i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the uh giveaway selector comment picker thing and we'll see who actually won the ace rank all right, guys, so I did go ahead and load up the video from yesterday, the Pixelmon update video going over all the new Pokemon in the game. And I did promise you guys an ace rank giveaway, so let's go ahead and pick out the winner. 145 unique entries. That's actually pretty high for my giveaways, I guess, because it was a rank more people are interested. But that does mean that you guys have a pretty low chance of winning. I think it's 0.7% or somewhere around that for each person. So under 1% chance. Let's go ahead and see who the lucky winner is in 3, 2, 1. And there we go. Hydro Cule. Didn't you just win a event key or something like that? Okay. I mean, it's completely random, guys. I have no control over this. People can win as many giveaways as they win. I, I don't know. It's just random. So there we go. You will have your ace rank in the next uh, next time I see you online. Just go ahead and message me if you see me online, and I will definitely hook you up with that. If you do already have a rank, I'm not, I'm not too sure if you do. 
but I will definitely go ahead and replace your uh, ace rank with something else or give it to a friend if you want. Now, I'm definitely going to be doing more giver ranks, give, giver ranks, giveaway, rank giveaways in the future, so definitely make sure to stay tuned for those. I'm sure I'll give away a bunch more, and you'll have more chances to win. I really should start calling them giver ranks from now on <laughs> instead of giveaways. But, alright, so <laughs> the whole Venipede mission kind of failed. We didn't actually get a good one. Luckily, we do already have one, so. I guess there's something there with, with our one Venipede. It is a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, never mind, I lied. We, we trashed that Venipede. Our only Venipede that we will ever see on the server, and I threw it away. That's a... Oh, oh, okay, okay. They spawn at night. How much time was that? Three minutes left on the restart. Okay. They spawn at night, not during the day. That's why we couldn't find any. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get in a battle with this guy real quick. Full swipe and catch him as quickly as possible. So another thing that I didn't mention last time I talked about these little icons here is that they actually show the Pokeball if you've caught the Pokemon before, which is pretty helpful. Um, it does help out, like, if you've if you spent a lot of time on the server and you can't remember back when you first started what different Pokemon you've caught and encountered and all that stuff and you're trying to fill up your Pokedex, it does really help. So we already caught a Venipede, but there we go. We have another one. Let's go ahead and check this guy out quickly before the server restarts. Oh, relax, nature. Unfortunately, we're not going to be using this guy, but at least we know that they spawn at night now, and we can definitely keep an eye out for more of these Venipedes. Maybe I'll get one in the next episode. Since the server is actually going to restart in a few minutes here, I might as well go ahead and outro this video. If you guys do want a chance to win an event key, all you have to do is go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and I will pick a random winner in the next episode to win that event key. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.